Right, we're at Loch Mick and uh, Cycle Path. Uh, it's a bit windy. Woo! Sorry to ring the bell, but thank you. <laughs> Anyway, this is Lock Muck, Lock Mick, whatever way you want to call it. Um, I spoke to the nice lady on the um, the attendant, a uh, very nice lady, lives halfway down the lane. And uh, she did say uh, about parking and bits and bobs. I don't think it's overnight parking here. It's ex I can just about hear myself think so. Woo! Jesus. Very, very, very windy. I don't know what you'll hear on this. Anyway, this is Lock Mick. And, uh, so this is the road I'm taking. My leg is very stiff again, it always is, my left one, my knee. But uh, it's four pounds to park all day. I'm unsure about overnighting, but there is a couple of spots further down before you get here that I know I could park. So um, there you go. That's a flipping high path, that is. That is a high path. Public footpath to Glen Clove. Glen Clover, God almighty, by Capel Mount. I won't be going down that one then. That must be a path and a half. I'd love to do that. Anyway, as you can see, very nice. Uh, this is the sort of thing I quite like because it allows me to ride my bike uh, and don't feel so awkward on the small paths so we'll see how we do a little park up last night that was a nice little park up very quiet I did notice that thrush giving it some welly uh, early morning he never shut up for about two hours last night and he never shut up this morning for a couple of hours either so he must be looking for his mate or a mate sorry but uh, yeah digging car that's it nice and steady question of uh, keep motivating yourself well keep motivating myself so. just a little bit of power increase there That's a bit windy.
that wasn't very well done. I'm going to pick the line. you can see that stand back a bit uh, wind is uh, very blowy in the down section but I don't know whether my bike is up for this because it's a bit of another track ah that is a bit of another track yeah trouble is going down is if the track is like this all the way down and that's going to be the problem so yeah sure if this path is like this all the way around or just around this little uh, hump I'll try and carry on a bit more see how we go well I'm at the other end of the lock I've dragged my bike all the way across this 
down a path. Uh, you certainly can't ride around this uh, lock. I'm only hoping that the other side will come to a path somewhere along the line that I can ride. Anyway, this is to say that I have got to the other end. Well, this is proving a bit awkward. Um, looks like I'm either going to get my feet wet or damp. So, you needed a wash anyway. Anyway, Ooh. let's see if I can get a bit of cycling in. Uh, get a bit tired. Well, there's going to be a quad down here because I can see the tracks. So, let's see if I can get some cycling. And give me a bit of bacon grill, but he didn't too struck on that, so there you go. <laughs> He's there. I was talking to the lady who does the tickets and stuff this morning, and um, she always brings some feed down for him, some seed and stuff, but um, she says she's forgot it and she's run out. So he's just uh, doing the chance of thing. Hello, mate. Nice there's a little tame bird, isn't it? Well, yeah, you're alright. Anyway, I'm knackered. So, there you go. Well, this is, um, this, I think it's called the Spitler of Glen Mick. And um, it's £4 a day to park. Uh, you can't stop overnight, the signs. Um, the, the, the lady is very nice who I spoke to, sort of looks after the car park. Um, I have rode and pushed my bike all the way round and um, it was damned hard work and um, I've got some lovely, this is upside down, you can see my marks on my legs where the pedal smashed into me, loads of times pushed it on a small track but well worth the effort and um, you know a nice enough place. But 
I'm just having a bit of a cup of tea on this lovely bench and there you go I met a spit and spoke to a couple of other people on around here but other than that alright cheers <laughs>